All right, guys, welcome back. So, this is me becoming one with the couch. And um, this video is because it's the start of the week. Welcome to Monday, guys. Let's kick it off. And, you know, I try to, I don't know if it's like, it, it's not like I'm on schedule, but usually every week I kind of evaluate what can I be doing? What can, what's something maybe I can add to my life? Maybe even subtract. What's something that I can do that will make things better, make things easier, make things unnecessary? The one thing. And I feel like sometimes we have these things on our minds, these ideas, but we never really act on them. And so one of those ideas, and this is going to be sound um, a little weird for some of you guys, but one thing I've been really thinking about is adding carbs back into my nutrition. I've been doing keto for about three years now, and I, I, I've made it. I've done really good. I've actually gotten strong, the strongest I've ever been. I put up 405 decline. I did a 530 pound deadlift. My shoulder, standing shoulder press with like 205. It's like, and I got the leanest that I've been in a long time. But I don't know about you guys, like I've been bodybuilding and lifting weights for a long time now. So I've been having this like huge desire to just get back into that lifestyle, not a competitive bodybuilding lifestyle, but I want to like, I want to like bring my body to the peak that it can possibly be. And I feel like in order for me to do that, I just need a little something more. And I've been having these thoughts cause I added a couple carbs back in randomly. Um, or say I would even go out with the boys, we'd have a couple beers. And the next morning, I would always feel really fucking good. And my pump in the gym was just insane. And so, like, the last three years, you know, I haven't really felt that, dude. Like, I used to weigh 260 pounds. So, I would go back into the gym after these sort of refeed, you know, these cheat meals, and just start to feel fucking awesome. And then I would tell myself in my brain, all right, I got to figure this out. Maybe I should start adding carbs. And then a few days would pass and it would just be like back to normal. Like I'm just so used to that baseline of training. So I didn't really do anything about it. Um, but another thing that I noticed is just I had like this sort of joy. In, it was like an internal joy. It was kind of like just coming out of me. Like there was more. This is a good example. <laughs> Not for joy, but just how I felt. And I think it was the carbs. It could have been the going out with friends, having a good night out. But the other day we went out. I actually had a junk food. I had, a, I had like a hamburger. The next day, dude, I was walking. And I just felt like if someone was to fucking attack me right now, I would just destroy them. Like my reef, like I was just, I was ready to throw a punch, dude. I was, I had that like, like that spark. And I haven't had that for a while. I haven't had like that, oomph, that extra oomph in whatever I'm doing. Um, and it was cool because, you know, I just felt mentally like something was different. I didn't, there was like this, uh, there was just more internal energy. And it was really, really cool to feel that because I was like, aha, uh -huh. like a light bulb went off. Okay, this is how life should be a lot more frequently than I've been experiencing it because I think we've all had those days where we're just joyous for no reason. There's just like this like internal happiness and power. You know, you don't feel fucking weak. You don't feel tired. And I think that I felt pretty damn good on keto and keto works guys. And I know I've been talking about keto and for those of you who have started, listen, try it. You should try Keto. If you if you were interested in it for some reason, if you want to, you definitely gonna lose weight quick. You're gonna lose a lot of un, a lot of bloating. You're probably if you have irritable bowel syndrome, if you got maybe high anxiety, you switch to a keto diet. Guarantee you, it's gonna help. I mean, it's proven that it works. It's not that, but when it just looking at it of going back to lifting heavy ass weight, putting on muscle having a shit ton of energy, like that extra explosiveness, 
I'm going to experiment with carbs. And I'm excited. And to be honest, my stomach is not used to it. I'm like, I ate brown rice um, and, a, and some oatmeal. But all, and I think the oatmeal fucked me up. Like, just the distended stomach, dude. I just like feel, but I'm not used to it. I'm not used to it. So I'm, I'm like walking to the gym. I feel like I had to shit myself. It was scary. <laughs> uh, but that's, that's going to be something that I'm going to add to this week. And, you know, for me, that's my one thing that I think that would really benefit me right now. But I've been sort of on the fence of doing that. I was scared. And that's the hard thing is sometimes we fall into these ideologies or I'm not saying keto is an ideology, but just like a dogmatic view of you eat this and nothing else, or this is how it is. And if it's healthy, it's like, yeah, man, I get it. You can, you can probably cut out all animal products, go completely vegan. Fuck that dude. I'm not trying to like, I want to be really strong and energized now and eat healthy. I want to get back to the basic. I don't just want to, I want to be open to, try. maybe I'll try vegan one day, but right now I feel like I'm going to try some carbs. I'm going to fucking enjoy them. And it's going to, and if it works, it works. And if I start putting up better numbers in the gym, if I start packing on more muscle, I'm going to keep doing it. And um, I want to simplify it. You know, I feel like that's one thing that I, I could do better on this channel is to simplify things, to simplify it. I think Einstein said, you know, you don't even know it unless you can simplify it. So I want to get back to some of the basics. And when it comes to food, dude, that's why I didn't make many ketogenic videos because I was like, you know what, it works for me, but like, ah, like why confuse someone else? And guys, look, again, it fucking works. Try it. See if it works better than being on a carb diet. Some people swear by it. I made tremendous progress with it. I lost a ton of weight, okay? But you know what works really well? That people figured out a long time ago? Eating clean, eating clean whole foods. That, that digest well, that sit well with your body. If you are having an upset stomach, if you're getting eczema, if you're, you're uh, lethargic and tired, it's probably your diet. You probably need to take something out of your diet and then everything m may get better. Um, and you could try a new diet for a couple weeks. That's all you gotta do, try a new diet for a couple weeks. If it works for you, okay, great. If it doesn't, go to something else. Or just eat clean. You know, for all of us, we don't have a lot of money. Simple. Some, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna get some brown rice, maybe some white rice. I'm gonna have my brown rice before the, uh, the sort of middle of the day. I'll probably combine this with intermittent fasting. I don't wanna get rid of that totally. Um, and then maybe some white rice after. I'll probably eat three times a day. I'm gonna just give that a shot. I wanna get back, dude. I wanna get back to having calories. To be honest, I think my body's been adjusted. It's adapted to eating a low calorie um, like throughout the day. Like I was probably getting about 2,000 calories running off that. But I want more energy, dude. I need more energy right now in my life. I need to be able to just like jump up whenever I need to. And I think that I felt that. I felt that feeling with carbohydrates, something that I haven't felt for some time now. It's crazy. Once you put them in, dude, you instantly blow up. Like... The water just right into the muscle, just looking full as can be, man, just like instantly. And I haven't felt that. It's, it feels great. Um, but, you know, back to the basics. And like I was saying, that's my thing that I'm doing this week. What is it for you? Maybe it's getting a haircut. I, speaking of haircut, I could use a fucking trim up, clean the hair. You know, sometimes a haircut or a new pair of shoes. Sometimes it's switching to a different gym. But I know what's there's probably something on your mind that you've been putting off for a while just because, you know, it's hard. It's hard to change once you've been going high momentum for something for so long. And sometimes you just gotta be like, okay, it's time to change paths. It's time to go a different route and see how it affects me. All right, so I don't know what that could be for you, but I know that for me, this is something. So I'm gonna get back to that. I'm gonna talk about it more on the channel. I'm. You know, the whole bodybuilding is such a huge part of my life. I've been doing it for years. And I want to share that with you guys. If you're not working out, you know, it's a life-changing thing. It's literally like 
when that is going strong, everything else usually goes strong. If you're crushing in the gym, you're not missing workout days. You're going Monday through Friday. Maybe you're getting some rest, but you know, you're working harder. You're having more energy. If you're a woman, you know, don't be shy. Don't be afraid to lift. Lifting is going to change your life. You're not going to, you're just not going to get muscles like a dude will. You don't have the same amount of testosterone. What it's going to do is help your bones become stronger. It's going to help you lose weight. It's going to help tone you up. It's going to make you probably get out of depression for you guys. If you've been putting off lifting, it's like, it's a great thing. But also to make progress, you've got to eat good food. All right. And a great motto is just keep it clean, eat clean food. That was the motto. That was what Arnold was doing. Louis Ferrigno. That's what, you know, all these great golden era bodybuilders were eating clean food. It wasn't this meticulous and you had to test your blood ketones or, you know, you had to shy away from eating this and that. You know what a clean food is. All right. It's not processed. Doesn't have a bunch of sugar. Doesn't have a bunch of shitty fats in it. So that's what I'm getting back to, man. I want to share that with you. Be prepared for the channel. You know, more bodybuilding. We'll talk more because I love that. I love that. I feel like I've gone away from it because I was just keto. I got to be on keto. And it's just like, I want to take it to the next level. And so, you know, if it's, if you're having trouble with your diet, switch it up. All right. That's it guys. And, uh, we're going full force, man. Come join us in the Monk Mode Box group. We got these new workouts, all of us going in together, holding each other accountable. So if you want to work with me there, work with all these guys, taking it serious, taking it serious, doing live talks, and just the whole nine when it comes to self-development, all right? This is where you go in and you transform your body and your mind. And like, you know, you work on your game. It's just, it's a, it's a new level of men coming together forming this tribe so all right guys i'll see you soon peace